Yeah. Tell me about, cause you, you kind of referenced it a little bit with, with the three new linebackers and that sort of thing to start out in 2019. Tell me how hard it is as a linebacker to come in like, it's, right as you come in. Right. So like Notre Dame had a bunch of, you were just at the Notre Dame spring game. We'll, we'll get to that. But Notre Dame had a bunch of young linebackers playing in that game. How hard is it to come in and learn the defense as a linebacker um, and earn early playing time? I mean, it just, is it, is it like super overwhelming? Like from a from a mental standpoint, uh, like the, like the, how much does the physical matter at that point? Like how hard is it to get on the field as a linebacker? Yeah, I would say some of it's physical. You know, like especially if you're just a little bit of an underdeveloped guy. Like but- let, let, me, let me put it like this. Let, sorry to cut you off, but like if is the physical a prerequisite? Hmm. Does it have to be that way? Like, can you play light and and then be also like get your way onto the field? from the mental part or is it just like hey if you're not if you don't have the size then you got to get that before you can even think about coming out here i i would say yes um you know like yes it's important to you know it's a prerequisite unless you're a freak like you know wusu where you can be yeah. you 10 and still be explosive as yeah hell. so there, there's some exceptions to that but i would say majority is put on the mental part of it like coming from high school high school defenses um there's there's not there's there's none of the communication and uh checks and depending on what formation they're in um you having to have the d-line in front of you like if the d-line is lined up wrong that's not the d-line's fault that's your fault as the linebacker Mm. so you are in charge of the whole defense and so a lot of people um when they come in they might be able to understand you know the defense at the base level but to really be able to play to where you or the team needs you to play at you need to have a full understanding of not only like your defense the entire and what everyone's doing um you know for communication checks um audible stuff like that but also you need to play really fast and so when you have a lot going on in your in upstairs like you're going to be hesitant you're going to be slow and that's really where you see a lot of young linebackers um you know Notre Dame but uh, like everywhere when they get to college is they're just not able to you know play to their full potential because they're being hesitant they're being a little slow and they're they're thinking too much and so it's this fine line between like having to know what you're doing and and run the defense but also when the ball is snapped like you're not thinking you're you're you know you're playing downhill you're fast you're explosive you're not hesitant um and so that's kind of that you know kind of teetering line where you know, for some people, they get it early and they can get some early playing time. But for others, you know, it takes a couple of years to understand that with the D.C. or the linebackers coach. And and then they're able to blossom and, and have some good seasons. How hard is it then to go from one defense to another? So after 2020, Carkley, uh, your defensive coordinator, goes and takes the Vanderbilt job and Marcus Freeman comes in coaching a different almost like a completely different defense how hard is it then for a linebacker to adjust to that okay so hopefully he would not listen and would not get mad at this but um hard except for freeman's defense it was um a lot easier than clark lee's defense and so Hmm. it was it was a lot easier for people to to play fast and like again it's it's kind of like individual to individual so for some people you got to see in freeman's defense kind of um, blossom and have some have some you know great games and and you know kind of uh, surprise some people um, and so that was being able to play fast and they didn't have as much to think about you know and so honestly us uh, transitioning to Freeman's defense I don't think was insanely hard um, for some people we, I think we we saw some hiccups um, in the beginning there um, with 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 some games and some long runs and you got some uh, yeah. just maybe guys playing too free um but (laughs) again like i think that transition wasn't as hard to where from what i heard going from freeman's kind of defense to um you know al golden coming in and having you know his own twist on things um kind of got some people uh into a little bit of a lag of having to learn a new defense was it do you think so going from uh clark lee to marcus freeman would be easier because Clark Lee was maybe a little bit more difficult. Freeman was a little bit more free to no pun intended, but then going to someone who um, like Al Golden, who maybe is a little bit more structured 
would it be harder to go from someone who was free? Like, do you think it would be harder to go from Freeman to Golden based on what you've heard, right? You didn't play for Al Golden, but based on what you've heard, is it harder to go for some to someone uh, from someone who's very free, like uh, Marcus Freeman, to Al Golden? Like, do you think that would be more difficult for the for the players on the roster right now? A hundred percent. Unless you know you already had some backing, um, but for younger guys that might have came in um, with Freeman and that was their their only transition from high school. Um, to college and i and i don't want to like make it um too extreme either like there's still going to be a huge jump from high school to freeman's defense right but, sure. um if that's if that's all they know to go into an even more complicated defense that's another step you're gonna and hurdle that you're gonna have to make whereas in a lot of those guys that came in with C, uh with coach lee they they were already you know up to up to their uh their head with trying to you know understand the whole defense it was very gap sound and so like you were either right or wrong to where mm-hmm. freeman might have gave you more freedom to be like yeah you're wrong but you might have made the play so we're not mad so it's kind of, it. you know, it's kind of different a little bit but for sure you know um without that you know coach lee i think it might have hit some people a little bit harder yeah because yeah I, I don't know how much you followed notre dame last year um you've got a lot of friends on the team uh, still. So um, th- there was a lot of talk about the linebacker play last year and, and just like it wasn't I, I would say it was a notch below what, what Notre Dame fans are used to from like, you know, from 2017 with with Tavon and um, and Drew Tranquil and then you and uh, and Wu and Asmar and that sort of thing. And it kind of took a step down. And so do you think that there was something to that, like going from first Lee, then Freeman? Than golden do you think that was kind of a, a pretty big factor in that yeah i mean um there are there were a lot of veteran um linebackers so i don't know if i can give them that that scapegoat because <laughs> some of them all had three of them like they they had city lee freeman and golden so there's really no excuse but anytime you're transitioning defenses like you are gonna have um you know hiccups i think um mm-hmm. Especially with college guys, um, you know, it's it, it's a big change. So, you know, I'm not saying that's like the only reason, you know, why. Um, but like anytime you change defenses, like there's there's definitely going to be hiccups. And that's why those first couple games, you would like to iron out all the mistakes in fall camp. But usually defense wise and sometimes offense wise, um, you know, those first couple games, everyone on Twitter is freaking out that, you know, our defense stinks. But usually it starts coming around, um, you know, towards the end of the season and stuff.